Hi, my name is Seth, and I am an integrations engineer with NXLog. In this presentation, I will be exploring how macOS administrators can use NXLog Enterprise Edition and the included macOS module to capture events directly from the macOS unified logging system. Several years ago, Apple overhauled the macOS logging system with user privacy and security in mind. These changes included how logs were stored on the system, from typical log files to compressed binary files. These compressed binary files are a proprietary format that Apple has not released specifications for. Up until now, these files could only be processed by the log tools Apple provided, which some macOS administrators have found to be challenging to use, limited in functionality, and difficult to integrate into their log collection workflows. The macOS module included with NXLog Enterprise Edition allows macOS administrators to capture logs directly from the unified logging system. Once captured, these events can be easily filtered, pruned of unneeded data, and processed to comply with any particular schema or data format requirement. Two quick notes before I begin. As mentioned previously, one goal of the unified logging system was to secure user data and redact sensitive user information that could leak into the system logs. Because of this, administrators need to enable a custom profile to show some sensitive information in the system logs, specifically usernames and IDs. The environment used for this presentation has one of these profiles installed. However, I will not cover installing these custom profiles in this presentation. You can, however, find more information on them and how to deploy them in the NXLog Enterprise Edition user guide. You can find links to the user guide and the section on deploying custom profiles in the video description below. Additionally, note that the unified logging system stores recent event logs in system memory for a short time before writing them to hard storage. These writes to storage generally occur every one to five minutes depending on how much event data is generated on the system. Because of this, when using NXLog Enterprise Edition, macOS administrators should note that it may be a short period after a qualifying event occurs before they are written to storage and ingested by the macOS module. Also because of this, a special utility is being used for this presentation to force the unified logging system to write events stored in memory to storage every few seconds so that qualifying events can be ingested, processed, and viewed immediately. This presentation will showcase how NXLog Enterprise Edition and the included macOS module can be configured to capture several common user activities macOS administrators are often interested in, which include login, logout, and privileged process execution. I will trigger several of these qualifying events and using NXLog Enterprise Edition, will filter and forward them to a mock sim for better visualization. At the top of the configuration, I am importing two extension modules, the XM JSON module, which allows me to format events as JSON before forwarding them, and the XM Resolver module, which is a utility extension enabling me to map user IDs to usernames and vice versa. I then declare an input instance named ULS. I import the macOS input module and declare several default paths for locations where files relating to the Mac Unified logging system reside. Seen here are the current default directories, which should not need to be changed. However, because Apple could make arbitrary decisions to change these files in the future, the option to change them is available. As I mentioned, I will be filtering for three event types, pseudo usage, login, and logout events. If you have used the log command on macOS before, you most likely have filtered events based on predicates. Here I show JSON output of a user login event taken from the unified logging system. Here I can see all the system predicates that could be used to filter and match on. In each of my if and else statements, I am using regex to match on these predicate fields. For the pseudo event check, I'm matching on the term pseudo in the process image path field and the term tty equals tty's in the event message field. If a match is found, a new event field named basic event type is created and populated with the value pseudo, which helps to classify this event. I then use another regex match statement to extract the username from the event message. It is important to note that there is some NXLog specific magic happening with this regex expression. Using a unique naming tag starting with a question mark followed by an open angle bracket, the desired field name, and a closing angle bracket, the group match in this regex expression will be automatically added to the event as a named event field. With this statement, I am checking for a string in the event message and creating an event field named username that will capture the user's name from the event message and add it as a separate event field for this event. 
Once the username has been captured, I use the user get UID function from the XM resolver module to get the associated user ID for that username. This ensures every event has a username and a user ID field. The log in and log out sections below are formatted similarly, except that the predicates used for matching are sender image path and subsystem. Below the if and else statements is an else block where all remaining events that did not meet the above qualifying criteria are dropped. Lastly, I add a field to the event with the host's hostname and format the entire event as JSON. Below the input section, I have a very short output instance named to mock sim. I start by importing and using the TCP output module to connect to the mock sim, which takes a hostname parameter with the details of the mock sim. Now that the configuration being used has been reviewed, it's time to generate some events. NXLog is currently installed as a service and uses the configuration seen here. I will first open a terminal window and run a simple command as superuser, ls. As soon as I enter this and my password, I can see the forwarded event in the mock sim. I can also see my four added fields, basic event type, username, user ID, and Mac hostname, which is perfect. I will also log out and back in to see those qualifying events into the mock sim as well. After I log out, I can see the event is forwarded to the mock sim. And as I log in again, I can see that event is also forwarded as expected. This brief presentation showed a configuration for capturing three common event types that macOS administrators are often interested in seeing. Many macOS administrators may be interested to know that in addition to the macOS module for gathering events from the unified logging system, NXLog Enterprise Edition also has modules for collecting BSM, ASL, and endpoint security logs. If you have any questions or would like to request a trial of NXLog Enterprise Edition, you can do so online by visiting nxlog.co forward slash request trial by contacting our pre-sales team at presales at nxlog.org or by clicking on the trial link in the description below. I want to thank you for joining me for this presentation. I hope it was informational and enlightening, and I hope you have a great day.